kukri knives. I've never owned the first one of them, but several of you have been asking about a kukri knife review. Well, your wish is my command. We're gonna be looking at the new one from Warivo today. Stick around. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for taking time to join me in this video. I hope you find this entertaining. I hope you find it helpful. I hope you can get something out of it. Let's get going. We get to have a little fun as the content creator and the audience in this video because old Daniel here, he doesn't have much experience with kukri knives, never owned one, and I don't really know which one is the most popular, what's the go-to kukri for everyone, so I'm going to be leaning on you, my friend. I want to hear your level of expertise on this if you're into kukris. Maybe you're watching this because you want to know about this Warivo kukri. Well, I'll take care of that but maybe you also have some insight you can provide as far as which ones out there are the best and which ones you like to use. I know for quite some time now, while Revo's been keeping me somewhat busy, sending me a lot of different blades from their product page. The very first blade I ever reviewed from them was a tracker design that I thought was really good. Had a nice price on it, D2 steel. Uh, they've sold a lot of them. It, it got a lot of great reviews and that led to me having the opportunity to review a lot more of their blades. And I'm really excited that it was Warivo out of all the knife companies that I deal with that has given me a chance to review their Kukri knife. And here is their newest. I'm gonna put it in the light for you. Now I'm gonna say this before anybody out in the wide world of YouTube has a chance to do so. And that is some of you are probably gonna be laughing at my Southern accent in this video and the way I say Kukri. I don't know, it's just a Southern thing. I know it's probably something more fancy like Kukri, Kukri or something, I don't know. But down here in the south, it's just going to have to be the kukri today. And I'm just going to have to ask you to bear with me. I want to share something with you that got my attention recently. I love a good action movie. I love martial arts movies. I just love to sit down and watch a good action movie with a lot of throwing down going on. I watched a movie recently called The Night Comes For Us. And man, what a crazy action flick man if you don't like blood stay away from that one that one was probably the most violent movie i've ever seen in fact the night comes for us is the most violent martial arts action film i've ever seen it had even almost kind of like a tinge of horror to it if you ask my honest opinion and there was one assassin in that movie this assassin chick man she wielded the kukri knife and man, she was nasty with that thing. And I was like, good golly, this weapon is very scary. She did a really good job of demonstrating the kind of damage something like this could do. I was like, good golly, Miss Molly. And here she is. Right, nice looking piece of work right here. Let's get down on the specs here and see what's up. This is listed at 15.5 inches. 10 of that is your blade. We've got as a pack of wood handle. It's listed as full tang, but you know the dealio. If it's not coming out the end here, it's not quite full tang. The tang obviously runs down into the handle. Now, I prefer that the tang comes all the way through. I know some designs don't work well with that, depending upon what people are going for. That's the one thing right off the bat I'm not the biggest fan of with this one is that the tang is not shooting all the way through it. Now, that's not to say it's not strong. Some people are not hung up on that. That's just a personal thing with me. Now, this is listed as being made from D2 steel on Amazon under their specifications. Now, I know a lot of people uh, will question the specifications of a lot of Amazon sellers. I'm just going to provide what is listed. And if that be the case, you've got a hunking piece of material here that is going to be able to hold up to a whole lot of things. The edge on this is wicked sharp, as you're going to see in some of the jug killing sessions here in just a moment. Knocked them out of the thing I had them tied up in, but you can see that clean cut that went straight through both. Wasn't quite the shot I was looking for. It was a little bit too far to the right, but you can tell that it still took that thick plastic. Comes with this leather sheath here, so I wanna show you how this opens. It opens here on the side and over the top. The thickness specifications were not provided, but this is five millimeters. I pretty much put my money on that. Although I've never owned a kukri or even used one, it's 
pretty common sense what something like this excels in massive amounts of chopping and slicing now if wiki is correct the origin of these blades were in the indian subcontinent and they were designed as melee weapons and yes its focus was weaponry and utility a lot of people get on me on here on youtube a lot about certain knife reviews and me always talking about the weaponry element of these blades I, I think that's a little bit asinine to be honest with you because throughout history it's very very clear that swords and knives and all of these things were not just designed to be tools they were used as tools but let it be known man these things are weapons and i think for a lot of blades we just have to agree on the fact that it's both a weapon and a utility tool it's very clear what the kukri can do it's a kukri machete it can slash through brush it's a chopping machine it can clear the pathway it can also clear your enemy it also states this is the national weapon of nepal Nevertheless, I had to go out on Wiki and kind of do a little bit of research with regards to the origin of the kukri. Very interesting. If you you can do that with any kind of blade, it's I love going out and looking at the origin story of a lot of these blades. But I'll drop that Wiki link in the description. You can only imagine the weight of this swing. How it's top heavy. It's just totally destructive. Tree's on the brink of death. That's the only reason why I took this one down. What about throwing a kukri? Absolutely. I bet it's like major fun. I'm getting ready to find out. Though, not the biggest fan of throwing one with a handle like this. Woo! She throws beautifully like I thought she would. Rotational throwing, you're not gonna see me out here, obviously no spin in a kukri. <laughs> Here's the thing about throwing. For the most part, if you're not constantly missing and banging the knife against something, you probably won't wreck the handle that quick. Now the jarring does play against the handle over time. It just doesn't wreck it as quick. So if you're an experienced thrower, you could probably get out and throw this on occasion and you'd be fine. But if you're learning how to throw knives and you're missing a lot, don't, don't throw this. You'll just break the handle or at least get it loose. And hey, that goes for any knife that's built this way. I must say, I like the way this handles. I like the way the handle feels. I like the dynamic of it. This is a very useful tool and could be a very, very useful zombie weapon, apocalypse weapon. Whatever you got going on in your mind is a possibility. What can I say? I'm digging the Kukri knife. And you better believe I'll be adding more to the collection and reviewing more. These things are a lot of fun. I mean, they're a lot of fun just to get out and swing around and do some drills with. It's super fun to throw. It makes chopping and clearing easy. The Kukri blade is great. Is there an area where the Kukri doesn't really excel? Well, I don't really think of it as a predominant piercing weapon, but it could. It could. It's got a point. So I won't take anything away from the kukri. I'll just ask you now, what are your thoughts on the kukri? Which one do you like the best? Which ones do you think I should get? What's the best for the money? What do you think about this one from Warivo? I'll be dropping a link for you in the description to go out on Amazon and review it and pick it up if you like. Thanks for watching. Take care.